hiking at Stephanie Dog Trainer, Peace of Mind Dog Training. <laughs> and I'm out with Molly. Hi, Molly. <laughs> Good girl. And she's thinking cute. So I am currently just walking this girl. Um, her dad actually ran into me while I was out on a pack walk with our usual crew. And he needed help letting her out sometimes when he worked late and I'm happy to help out. He lives really close. She might get into some training, but right now we're starting training. So if I'm gonna walk this girl, I'm not gonna get pulled. So what I'm gonna be doing, she is in, an, is in a harness, which I typically don't use, but you can teach a dog in any tool. So I'm not too worried about that. So what I'm gonna be doing to teach her to kind of tune in to me, here we go, let's see if we can see her, is when I have that tension, good! <laughs> when she bolts ahead of me here, I'm just gonna stop, good. As soon as that pressure goes loose, good. We can start moving. So let me go ahead and turn this camera around, I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm gonna be doing pressure and release. So she's pulling forward right now, I'm going to stop and just keep tension on my line. I'm about parallel with the dog. Good. As soon as she moves with me, good. She pulls ahead, I stop. Tension is on. Right? And I'm just waiting for her to relieve to remove that tension. Good. Good girl. Boop. Same thing. Good. Right there, tension, tension's on keeping my tension and again I'm trying to be parallel with the dog because I don't want to pull up good girl hi Ooh, look at us we're walking let's go and I'm not getting pulled here we go there we go good girl because I, I want to go this direction I was gonna invite her to go back she pulls I stop Good girl. Good. Let's go. She pulls, I stop. And good girl. This will take a while for her to get, especially if she's been able to pull. Good, Molly. But she'll absolutely, there we go. She'll absolutely put it together. Good that this human at the end of her line today Good girl. Doesn't move when she's getting pulled. Right? So pretty much good girl. Good. So pretty much as soon as she releases that tension, I go. As soon as she puts tension on, it stops the movement. Hi. <laughs> good. There we go. Let's go. Good job. Do, 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 do. Tension's on, I stop. Good, tension's off, I go. Tension's on, I stop. Oop. We're gonna untangle her, good, and I go. I am not at all concerned right now about having her on any specific side. Good girl. I just want her to know pulling me, good. It's not gonna work. Oh, we're all tangled. Good. And if you are noticing, there we go. The amount of time she's spending taut on the line is getting less, right? She's starting to figure out how to remove, good, that tension, untangle the puppy. We walk, we stop. And yet, yeah, I mean, it, this is the part where a lot of people I completely understand. You wanna get frustrated and quit because it's tedious and you just wanna get the dog out and walk, right? Good. But she'll be good and tired after this walk of having to learn. Ooh, we got quite a few steps that time. Good girl. Good. There we go. Look at that. That was a long one. <laughs> and each time, right, we're making improvement where it takes less time for her to remove the pressure. Good. Where we get more steps, right? A learning process. This is where patience comes in. Good. Oh, to the back. Good. Oh, look how nice that was. We got quite far that time. 
tension's on. And I'm not pulling her, right? If she moves towards me a little bit, I just make up that slack, good. I want her to move enough to put the slack in the leash. So there's the tension, good. Tension, good girl. Nice walk, nice walk, tension. Good. Nice walk, nice walk. Tension. And I'm letting you know every time I'm feeling tension on the line and that's stopping me, right? Good. When I say good is when that tension comes off and we move again. Because I know that this dog wants to, good girl. She wants to go on a walk. She wants to explore. So I'm using that desire as good, her paycheck, right? You hear good, you get to walk. When there's no good girl, no tension on my line, we can cruise. There we go. But if you want to add tension, I stop. Good, let's go. There we go. Tension's on. Good. Tension's off. Tension's on. I'll fix my hat here, guys. Good. I'm not using any treats right now. I'm using her desire to keep moving good as her paycheck. Tension's on, I step. Good girl. Good. So it doesn't matter if the tension is forward on the line like it is now or off to the side. If I feel tension, I'm going polar opposite of her and waiting for her to move into me to create that slack. Good. Oh, we're right by my meditation place. Nice. Good job, girl. Oh, we got pretty far that time. I mean, each time it's not, you know, we're not making it around the block. Good. But each time there's a little bit more progress. Right? And that's all that I need is a little bit more progress, a little bit more progress, and it just keeps getting better. Good. Oh, look at that. Look how far we got that time. And we've got people across the street. We're next to an auto shop. Tension's on. I'm not pulling, but if she gives me just one step, I'm making up that tension. Good. I need commitment, right? <sighs> oh, we're all tied up. Hold on, guys. We're all tied up. There we go. <laughs> walk, walk, walk. Tension's on. Good girl. Tension's off. Walk, walk, walk. Oh, we have to turn around. We ran out of sidewalk, guys. I'm not paying attention. Come on, kiddo. Sorry. Yeah, I'm paying more attention to you. Good job. So look at that nice leash, swap loose leash. Even right there, loose. Oh, what a good girl. Good job, Miss Molly. Tension, I stop. She backs off. Good. We walk. Nice job. Oh, she fixed that one herself. Tension's on. Good job. Tension's off. And you can do the same pressure release that I'm doing right now with her in a harness, as you can see. <laughs> you can do it on a flat buckle collar. Good. You could do it on a prong. You could use a remote collar. You could use a slip lead. Any of those tools would work. I could reward her with food, you know, when she gives me that attention as well. There's so many different variables I could add to this. But right now, the tools I have is a dog, a harness, and she wants to walk. So I'm using that to my advantage. <laughs> Good. Good. Patience is the biggest. Repetition and patience is the biggest key I could give for her, right? Oh, tension's on. I stop. She might have to do some business here. If she does, we're going to cut our video so that she has some privacy. But... You can see we're actually getting to walk some with a nice loose leash here. She's
she's starting to hit her line and there's been a few times where she's hit the end and she's fixed it so she's starting to understand we're gonna keep at this um, I don't want to make this video too long too boring and plus I think she's gonna go potty and I want to give her privacy but tension and release can be done with almost any tool some tools will make it easier quicker more precise to the dog there she goes leave her alone <laughs> Stephanie with peace of mind dog training good girl so we've pooped. We are still on our first good half hour walk here. That's how long I'm with her just for this walk. I've already worn her out. You can see her brain is actually going a lot slower here. She's already tired. But you can see that after doing a few of those stops, tension on, good, good. She's really starting to get it. Right? And what I've added to it now, she gets a little head tension and a turn. Good girl. Let's go. That just adds an extra little element, right, to the, the correction there. You pull me. I stop moving and I'm even moving away from you. So tension. Boop. She turns a look. Now she's got to play catch up. Good. Let's go. Each dog is different. Um, I wanted to make that message to her a little clearer about pulling not being good. So I added a little turn. Tension and go. Good girl. Yeah. And I'll add this as the after video. I wanted to give her privacy because she was pooping and I didn't want to have too long of a video. Good. But this was all done with just a leash and a harness. I have no treats. I have no other training tools. It was just repetition, good, patience, and consistency, right? I was consistent that every time she's pulling, I'm stopping. And then I also added that little turn boop, as an extra little oomph to correction. Almost lost my head there to a branch. Boop, little bite, little turn. Good. There's Miss Molly. Day one, let's go.